the debate over the so-called citizenship question in America appears to be over. President Donald Trump announcing late Thursday he would drop his bid to get the question, are you a U.S. citizen, put on the 2020 census. Trump instead said he would sign an executive order demanding all government agencies compile a list of non-citizens living in the U.S. into a central database, arguing the citizenship information was vital to public policy. We will utilize these vast federal databases to gain a full, complete, and accurate count of the non-citizen population, including databases maintained by the Department of Homeland Security and the Social Security Administration. We have great knowledge in many of our agencies. We will leave no stone unturned. Last month, the Supreme Court barred the citizenship question on the grounds the government's justification for wanting to add it to the census was insufficient. The census is taken every 10 years, and the data that derives from it is critical in determining billions in federal funding as well as congressional representation. Critics said forcing people to answer if they are a citizen was not necessary and would mean undocumented immigrants would likely not participate in the census, leading to an undercount in Democratic-leaning parts of the country. Let's call this for what it is. This citizenship question has nothing to do with the legitimate needs of the census. It is designed to intimidate families. Trump's America First policy has been a cornerstone of his presidency since the very first day he took office. And a big reason why he was elected was his promise to crack down on illegal immigration. Trump tied the census question to that, and now it's a huge political defeat. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, Washington.